Hello biologists, today's daily biology revision task is to produce a summary sheet on the structure of proteins. Proteins are made up by polypeptide chains, which are amino acids joined together with peptide bonds. The unique sequence of amino acids that makes up a protein or polypeptide chain is called its primary structure. Peptide bonds are created by an enzyme catalyzed condensation reaction between different amino acids. Breaking down proteins is important in many areas of the body, not necessarily just in digestion. After synthesis, polypeptide chains are folded or pleated into different shapes called secondary structures. Two common examples of these structures are alpha helixes and beta pleated sheets. Secondary structure is held together by many hydrogen bonds, overall giving the shape great stability. The final 3D structure of a protein is its tertiary structure, which is made from the secondary structure and is held together by a range of other bonds. The secondary structure can be held together by hydrogen bonds, disulfide bridges and hydrophobic interactions. Disulfide bridges is where two cysteine amino acids are found together forming a strong double bond between two sulfur molecules. Ionic bonds are found if two oppositely charged R groups are close enough together. Hydrogen bonds, a typical everyday hydrogen bond. Hydrophobic hydrophilic interactive interactions involves amino acids and may be between different parts of it, causing some parts of the protein to orientate itself towards water and some parts of the protein to orientate itself away from the water. Tertiary structure can be broken by the action of heat. Increasing the kinetic energy of a protein with a tertiary structure makes it vibrate more and so the bonds that maintain its shape are more likely to break. The quaternary structure of a protein is formed when two or more polypeptide chains or two or more tertiary structures join together. Hopefully this video should have helped you complete your daily revision task. Please subscribe so you can keep up to date with other videos to help with your daily revision tasks. You can follow me on Facebook or follow me on Twitter to help you keep up to date.